Today, we're headed to the local GOAT, and they are located on 2167 Parkway in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. It's pretty easy to find. If you're headed towards the Smoky Mountain National Park, you'll pass the Tanger Outlet Mall, and just a little bit past that on the left-hand side, you'll see the local GOAT. The parking lot is right out in front. It's rather large, but it's always full. So come on in on our next adventure. Hey, and welcome to another one of Rich and Jen's Adventures. Today, we are in Pigeon Forge checking out a local's favorite, which is called the local goat. So we're gonna go inside and have a late lunch, early dinner, and show you our food like usual and let you know what we think. And if you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. And also, if you'll hang around to the end, we're gonna give you a little locals insider tidbit. So, I guess we're ready to go. You ready to go on another adventure, Rich? I am ready. All right, well, let's go. Let's go. Thanks. Here's the menu. Fried green tomatoes. Oh, sure. Oh, no Thank problem. You. Uh, all right, Jen. Yep. They, you just placed your order. What'd you get? I got the chicken tenders. They're hand breaded here. I got it with the hand cut French fries that they cut here. And then I went instead of coleslaw, I got the salad with the ranch dressing. And she said they make that here as well. So we're gonna see what it's all about, and uh, we'll show you the food when we get it. Sounds good. So we're here at the local goat and Rich just made his order. Rich, what did you get? I got the fish and chips. And what did you get with that? I got a salad, I guess it's a charge. What else did I get? Hand cut french fries. Oh, hand cut french fries. Yeah, that sounds really good. All right, so we just got the appetizers. These are the little stuffed peppers with goat cheese and a balsamic glaze. And then these are the deep fried deviled eggs. Rich, you want to try one? Sure. Oh, holy cow. Wow, you put that whole thing in your mouth. <laughs> Is it good? Mm -hmm. Really kind of cool, huh? It's good. I heard they were really good. They look delicious. Well, the food just got here. I tried a deep fried deviled egg oh my god it was good and here's some goat cheese stuffed peppers i think jennifer's gonna get into that look i'm ready yeah you are <laughs> Tear it all up. right let's see what it looks like it's got like an, a really neat um, filling in it mm. oh wow I didn't expect that. It's hot. Oh, it's spicy. It's really good. No. Temperature hot. Not spicy. Very good. Okay, cool. Right. Let me get one of these. Try an egg. Whoa, it's too big, huh? Mmm. That is so I neat. Know, right? <laughs> I have never tasted anything like that before. Right. Really good. Alright, so we just got our salads. It's really good. What kind of dressing did you get? A lime vinaigrette? Yes. Honey lime vinaigrette. Okay. And those are, uh, I got the ranch, and those are homemade here. They are not bottled. They make everything here from scratch. So we'll see how it tastes. This 
salad is really good. Um, everything is fresh, crispy. The um, ranch dressing is like really good. You can tell it's homemade. Doesn't have that thick, fakey taste. Excellent. You can taste the buttermilk. And what did you think about your uh, salad dressing? It's interesting. It's like a uh, sesame, smoked sesame, lime flavor vinaigrette. Hey Jim, have you any idea why they named this the local goat? Well, <clears throat> they did because um, they try to source all of their stuff locally, and then the goat was to bring attention to the name and also uh, for greatest of all time. So they decided to name it local goat. It opened in 2016, and it's family owned and operated. So pretty cool. Oh, fun nugget there. Our food just got here and Rich got the fish and chips, which we talked about earlier. Wow, that is a huge plate. Turn it around so we can see the fish. Hand cut fries, a ton of fish. That looks really good. And I got the hand breaded chicken tenders and the fresh cut fries and I got honey mustard and they even make their own ketchup here. It's good So um, Rich is getting some malt vinegar and then um, we're gonna taste it and see how the fries. Good go back with this for a minute. I got the chicken tenders. There are four left on my plate. You see how big they are? I got five, which is crazy. And Rich has gotten into his cod. It's how is it? So good. Really good and fresh, huh? She said they bring it in every day, so. Sure. You're on. So we took, um, ate about half of our meals and we're gonna take the rest home as usual, but we had to try this chocolate peanut butter pie. It's made here. She said the most popular thing is their white uh, bread pudding, white chocolate bread pudding. Um, but I love peanut butter pie and you don't find that at a lot of places so we thought we'd try that today. So I'm gonna take the first bite. Sorry, Rich. It's okay, <laughs> it's totally okay. Look at that, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Mm. The top is a layer of chocolate. Pure chocolate. Then it has a fluffy peanut butter and then it has a chocolate crumb crust. Sounds good. Here's our bill. You can get a 10% military or local discount. Hey, we just finished up our meal at the local goat, so we're gonna tell you what we thought. So we had the appetizer, which was the fried deviled eggs. Amazing. What did you think? <laughs> really good. I've never had anything like that before. It was really good. And then we had the uh, stuffed little uh, goat cheese stuffed peppers. And those were warm and they had a balsamic vinaigrette on them and they were really good too. Uh, I ordered the chicken tenders, which are hand breaded and uh, their fries are hand cut here. And I picked a salad with homemade ranch. It was all outstanding. Um, they give you so much that I could only eat half and we brought the other half home. And Rich, you had the fish and chips and what did you think? Um, I thought it was fantastic. It was uh, lightly battered and put some of that um, vinegar on there. It was really good. Um, I do want to give a shout out to our server. She was fantastic. Her name is Mary Berry. Yes. And uh, she was really good. She was informed us about the uh, history a little bit of history of the uh, restaurant and she was just a pleasure yeah yeah um it was really good i would say i would give this seriously a 10 out of 10. um there's always a wait here so we actually have only eaten here once even though we live here uh, but i recently found out which is going to be your tip that um you can actually go on the website and make a reservation for this place. Now, if you don't make a reservation, you can wait anywhere from 30 minutes to a couple of hours to get a table here. Um, it's that good and that well known. Uh, there's also, if you go on the website, a call ahead waiting um, where you put your name in. The only thing is, is once they get a certain amount of those, they don't take anymore. So if you're gonna be here and you're gonna be making a visit and you know you are, then go ahead on the website and go and put your reservation in at Open Table. We came up here today, we made a reservation at 3.30. Uh, there was probably 25 people outside. I walked up, gave her my name, and within less than five minutes, we were seated. 
Yeah, when did you make that reservation? I made it yesterday yeah, afternoon. So, so I don't know if you can make them the same day, but um, I'm telling you, that is the way to go. And amazing food, definitely 10 out of 10. So anything you want to add, Rich? No, I just, uh, what do you think? Would you come back? Oh, gosh. We will come back. <laughs> yeah, we'll it's not back. would I, it's will I it's and will when I. I. We'll definitely uh, probably bring our son and his wife back here. So anyway, thank you for joining us on another one of Rich and Jen's adventures. And uh, we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.